Three Little Princesses. Welcome to Peachland, the kingdom that is forever happy and always content. Now, let's go and visit the royal palace. <laughs> Look at these adorable, naughty little girls. The triplets, Princess Cherry, Princess Mary, and Princess Strawberry. Oh, 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 my! Stop tickling me, you little munchkins! <laughs> Daddy, you are so ticklish! Look at your cheeks! <laughs> they have turned pink! And your eyes look as if you were going to cry! <laughs> oh, my beautiful girls! <sighs> what would I do without you? And here goes the king into an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Come, my husband, supper awaits. What an adorable family! <laughs> now, introducing. Prince Lemon. He is the king's younger brother and is now returning to Peachland after attending to external affairs of the kingdom. <sighs> the heat is unbearable. Can't believe I am finally reaching home. When Prince Lemon reached the palace, the triplets ran towards him. Uncle Lemon! Oh, E! Oh, uh, <laughs> okay! <laughs> it's so good to see you, Uncle Lemon! Did you bring us toys? Or chocolates? Um, well, I... <laughs> Lemon, my brother! Welcome home! I hope your trip was worth it! Yeah, it was. All's well. The neighbors send their regards. Good! You must be tired. Rest it out, and we shall talk in the evening. Yes, your highness. Yes, your highness, all is well, your highness. Like God, why do I have to talk to my brother like that? You don't have to, you know. If you take away his throne. Shut up, Snakey. Fine, don't listen to me, but I am just looking, showing you the real picture. Why do you think he sent you to run his errands? When a king should have attended to the matters of the kingdom. I... I am the prince of the kingdom. But you can be the king, my lord. Think about it. The power, the respect, the luxury. B but how? <laughs> Listen to me very carefully. What? Yes, your highness. A raven just delivered the news. I suggest you and the queen leave at once. But what about our children? The road to the great mountains is not safe for them. Of course not, my queen. But I am here. I will take care of them. I am their uncle. The king and the queen looked at each other concerned. Well, the great hermit has done a lot for us, and today Peachland is prosperous because of his blessings. If he is unwell, then we must go and see him. Brother, make arrangements. We will set out at dawn. Yes, your majesty. And so, the next morning, the king and the queen, along with a few soldiers, set off for the great mountains. 
Remember what we told you. Be good girls. And whatever you need, ask Uncle Lemon. All right? Father, I am scared. Mwah. Remember our poem? When the wind blows and the sky roars. It might rain then, but not for too long. The clouds will disappear and the sky will get clear. The sun will emerge again and bless us with its glow. <laughs> Correct! Take care of them, Lemon. Yes, Your Highness. When the king and the queen were gone, the triplets went back inside the castle with their Uncle Lemon. Nurse, tend to their needs. Make sure they get what they want. But Uncle Lemon, we want to play with you. <laughs> I don't play. Huh? Uh, off you guys go now. Your plan better work. I cannot babysit them for seven days. Relax, my king. Tonight when the princesses sleep, I will slyly coil around their body to measure them. This I will have to continue for three days for appetites to grow. And then <laughs> I will... <laughs> Lemon thought to himself that three days will be over in a jiffy, and he was ready to bear the trouble. <laughs> Oops! Sorry, Uncle Lemon. Sorry? What sorry? Can't you all sit quietly at a place for a moment? At that, the little princesses began to cry. <laughs> it's okay, Mary. We have been a little naughty. Sorry, Uncle Lemon. Yeah, whatever. Uncle Lemon, could you please tell us a bedtime story? No. Please? No, just go to your room and leave me alone. Scared, the three princesses ran to their rooms. That night, the poor little princesses cried and cried until they fell asleep. And when they did, the serpents slithered into their room and one by one coiled around on the princesses. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful sleep I had. No tensions, no worries. My lord, only two more days to go. Once I have the princesses, it will be all over. You can send the raven to inform the king and the queen about their miserable fate. The heartbreak will be too big for them to survive. They will not make it back to the kingdom, and you will be the sole ruler. <laughs> that morning, at the breakfast table, the triplets were awfully quiet. Prince Lemon quite liked their attitude. He was happy, but just then, he felt a sharp pain rising in his heart. Ah! Uncle Lemon! Uncle Lemon! Uncle Lemon! Guards, call the medics at once! Prince Lemon was hurried to his chamber where the medics examined him. He has a high fever and shortness of breath. Maybe he caught the elder flu. What do we do? Make sure he is taken care of. He needs rest, mentally and physically. As the medics left, the three princesses looked at each other and then, forming a huddle, whispered something to each other. Prince Lemon wondered what they were up to, but had no energy to speak. He moaned in his bed. Understood. 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 What next? The three little princesses did what their Uncle Lemon could have never thought of. The wet towel. Here. The soup is on its way. 
they tended to their uncle and took care of him with all their love and affection. A full day passed, and Prince Lemon began to feel better by late evening. But his heart ached. Emotionally, he felt guilty. You, you little angels, I was so harsh with you, and yet you took care of me all day. It's the elder flu. The maids were scared to come near you. We are children. We won't catch the flu. And besides, you are our one and only Uncle Lemon. A tear rolled out of Prince Lemon's eyes as he took his nieces into his arms. Did my princesses eat? Not yet. Go finish your dinner, and then I will tuck you in bed. With a bedtime story? <laughs> Sure. And so the king and the queen lived happily ever after. <laughs> Good night, angels. He is becoming fond of them. I must stack tonight. That night, when Prince Lemon was just about to go to sleep, he heard someone scream. Oh no! I wanted to eat you without waking you up. But fine, I am okay with this, too. And at that moment, Prince Lemon entered the room, and seeing the serpent in a striking position, he removed from his pocket what looked like ancient seeds. Wasting no time, the prince threw them at the serpent. It was so sudden that the serpent was taken by surprise. And as the seeds hit him, with a loud shriek, it dissipated into the air. You used my weaknesses against me. No! Children! <laughs> It's okay. Shh, it's okay. Your uncle is here. Prince Lemon's heart had truly changed. What next? Well, the uncle niece's bond grew strong over the next few days. Lemon played with them, taught them about arts and crafts, and even sang and danced for them. <laughs> Seven days passed fast, and when the king and the queen returned, they summoned for Lemon. How dare he lie? The great hermit was never sick. I will banish him. Uh, that won't be necessary. I am leaving forever, your highness. But why did you lie to us? Because I wanted the kingdom for myself. Greed overtook me. Saying that, Prince Lemon turned and began to walk, when the three little princesses came running across the chamber and hugged him tight. Uncle, please don't leave us. The king and the queen were shocked. Kids, come here. No, you can't let Uncle Lemon go. He saved our lives. What? And so, the princesses explained everything to the king, who at once ran to his brother and hugged him tight. Pardon me, brother. Maybe it is time you get what is rightfully yours, too. After all, we are twins, and the throne is as much as yours as it is mine. No, the throne needs someone who cannot be manipulated, and that is you. I want to spend a lot of time with my nieces. They are the ones who taught me a lesson. The king was proud of his brother, and a grand celebration was announced. Peachland was lit up like the sky. And everyone celebrated, especially Prince Lemon. The three little princesses had taught him that kindness can not only change a person's heart, but their ways of life, too. <laughs>